and say, we have. Look at somebody that look like they might be going through something this morning and say, we have. you know that the devil is scared of the name Jesus? Can everybody say Jesus?
in the book of Psalm, Division 34, and verse number one. Psalm 34 and verse number one. And it reads, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I'm going to read that one more time. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You may be seated.
Somebody said it's just like fire. Shut up. In my bone. Let me see if I can talk to you this morning from these words. Praise the key ingredient. Praise the key ingredient. Just as a cake has key ingredients to become a desirable dessert, we as Christians must have key ingredients to have a successful life in serving God. Now, I need the ladies to help me out right here because I'm not a cook, I'm not a baker, but I need you to help me out. In order to bake a cake, some of the key ingredients for that cake are flour. You gotta have some sugar some eggs, some vanilla, and some milk. Now, did I leave anything out? Butter, there you go, butter. See, y'all would've, would've threw my cake back at me. If you don't use the right ingredients, your cake will crumble and fall apart. Your cake will be nasty. But you got to make sure you have the right ingredients. So in this spiritual walk, our key ingredients are prayer. Because man should always pray and not faint. You must have fasting to keep yourself under subjection. You must read the word of God. For the Bible says, study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And then you got to have praise. We must praise in order to get God's attention. For when the praises go up, the blessings come down. How many know when the praises go up, the blessings come down? So in the spiritual, if you do not use all these ingredients, your life will fall apart. Uh, we as Christians must realize that in order to survive this Christian journey, we must have one of the most important ingredients on this journey. And you must be able to be a praiser. Do I have any praisers in here this morning? Without praise, we cannot defeat Satan or what he sets as traps for us in our spiritual downfall. We must learn to walk every day in the life of praising God. Uh-huh. When you wake up in the morning, you need to praise him because somebody didn't wake up this morning. And when you're going around all day long on your job, you need to praise him. When you're riding along in your car, you need to praise him. When you're walking down the street, you need to praise him. Somebody might think you're crazy, but I would rather for them to think that I'm crazy as long as I know Jesus is on my side. Do I have any praisers in this place? Praise is the key ingredient. If you don't praise God, your life will fall apart. You will go out of your mind if you don't praise him. I'm not talking about a person. I'm talking about somebody that woke you up this morning. I'm talking about somebody that got you to this house of the Lord safely. He gave you goodness and mercy. I'm not talking about somebody that's sitting beside you. I'm talking about God. 
And you have, not, you have got to learn how to praise him. No matter what you're going through in your life, learn how to praise him. Life has ups and downs, but you got to praise him when you're on the mountaintop. And you got to learn how to praise him when you're in the valley. Do I have any witnesses in here this morning? You've been in the valley, but you learn how to praise him. Because it says, yea, though I walk through the valley. See, that means you're coming through it. Tell somebody, I'm coming through this thing. Whatever you're going through, you're going through it. But you got to learn how to praise him. Do I have anybody in here that can praise him right now? If he's been good to you, you don't mind praising him. You can't sit down on him when he's been so good to you. When you praise God, you will be able to walk in victory. See, you cannot let a day go by in your life without praising God. His praise has to continually be in your mouth. Uh -huh. You must understand that God dwells in the midst of a praise. That's why he came in this place this morning, because we were praising him. Tell somebody, I'm going to praise him because I want him to dwell in my life. My daddy used to say he would pull up a chair and sit right in front of you while you're praising him. Do I have any witnesses in this house this morning? How many know when you praise him, he will come and sit right where you are? And he will give you comfort in where you are. He will dwell where you are. So you have got to learn how to praise him. And let's consider this one fact. Jesus already defeated the enemy at the cross. The victory has always, already been won for you in every circumstance, every trial, and every test you will ever face in your life. You see, it's up to you by your praise to cause the victory Jesus already won for you on Calvary to manifest in every area of your life. You see, you got to be determined to praise the Lord at all times. Not sometimes, but all times. Mm -hmm. Not when you're up, but when you're down, you got to learn how to praise him. I will praise him at all times, continually. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Knowing that the praises of your mouth bring your success that you've been waiting for. Actually, your praise and your obedience to God's word determine whether you attain your goals in life and just how far down the road to success in God you're going to be able to go. Do you want success this morning? Do you want healing this morning? Do you want the victory this morning? Do you want your heart's desire from God this morning, then you must begin to praise and magnify God for his greatness and his goodness to you and for his faithfulness to his word instead of magnifying your problem. Tell somebody, stop looking at your problem and start praising God. Tell somebody else, stop looking at your problem and praise God. Begin to praise God because he has already granted you your inheritance. As you praise God and thank God for the provisions in his word, the blessings you desire from God will become a reality in your life. And you will see them come to pass right in front of your eyes. How many want to see things happen right in front of your eyes? Your friends will be asking you, how did that happen? You tell them the Lord did it. Uh -huh. Your enemies will say, how did that happen? Tell them the Lord did it. Do I have anybody in here this morning that can tell somebody the Lord did it? When we praise God, it allows him to turn our weaknesses into strength and our failures into triumph. It is up to you, my brothers and sisters, it's not up to God, because God already has defeated the enemy. 
Satan is already defeated. Did you know he was already defeated? This is why the victory is up to you. Because Jesus already won it for you at the cross. Now you must appropriate God's word for yourself. Uh huh. Now your own mouth determines whether or not you receive your victory. Uh, you got to be careful what you say out of your mouth. I said you got to be careful what you say out of your mouth. Negative thinking will carry you down, but positive thinking will carry you up. Do I have any positive thinkers in here this morning? My mama used to tell me, son, be careful what you say out of your mouth. You might just get what you ask for. You got to be careful what you say out of your mouth because the devil is listening to you. You know he doesn't want you to have the victory. He wants to keep you bound, but I declare this morning, uh, when you become a praiser, there's nothing that that rascal can do. I declare if you get up on your feet right now and give God a praise, uh, the devil will have to flee. You will have the victory, but you got to learn how to praise him. Uh, you got to have that main ingredient of praise. Do I have anybody in this house uh, that can scream to the top of their voice and tell God thank you? So today, you must purpose in your heart to fill your mouth continually with praises to God. Christians are not to be dominated by feelings, but when you start praising God, the joyful feelings come and your spirit is encouraged. There's something about praise. Tell somebody there's something about praise. Praise, praise turns on the power of God. And the power of God will loose, will come loose on the inside. And the joy of the Lord begins to bubble up on the inside. You see, outward circumstances don't carry any joy. Joy comes from the inside. That's why the word of God says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Do I have anybody in here this morning that has some joy down on the inside? And while I'm right here, don't let nobody steal your joy. Tell somebody, I'm not going to let nobody steal my joy. You got to hold on to your joy because somebody said, weeping may endure for the night, but joy, I, I said joy, I, I said joy I, might not come, but it will come in the morning. And I'm here today to tell you, it's morning time and somebody's life in here. It's morning time uh, in your circumstances. Uh, it's morning time uh, in your finances. Uh, but I need you to do me a favor. Uh, I need you to praise God uh, with everything you got. Uh, do I have? Uh, do I have anybody uh, that can praise Him uh, with everything you got? Uh, because you need your blessing. Uh, I said you need your joy back. Uh, praise Him. Uh, praise Him, Scripture to be good. Uh, Praise him. Uh, praise him with everything you got. Uh, don't let the devil fool you. Uh, when you begin to praise him, uh, he got to let you go. Uh, tell somebody it's time for him uh, to let me go. Uh, tell him, let me go. Uh, it's time for your miracle. Uh, are you ready uh, for a miracle? Uh, I said, are you ready? Uh, are you ready? Uh, oh, uh, are you ready? Uh, Praise will release the joy of the Lord in your life. I feel that the body of Christ has not yet tapped into the resource and benefit the power of praise releases in our lives. We think we've entered into the realms of God's power and glory. But really, we've just barely begun to enter into all that God has for us on this earth. When and only when we realize that praise is a key ingredient 
in our lives, we still, we will still be able to put the devil on our foot. When you realize that praise is your key weapon, you'll be able to put your foot on the devil's head. So this morning, do I have anybody in this house that can put their foot on the devil's head? Because you know you are a praiser, and you've been through some tough stuff. Uh, but I come here this morning to tell you, uh, if you learn how to become a praiser, uh, God will give you a peace be still in your life. Uh, does anybody need a peace be still in their life? Uh, well, I told you what you have to do. Uh, you have to learn how to praise him. Uh, no matter what's going on in your life, uh, you've got to learn how to praise him. Uh -huh. uh, if you want healing in your body, uh, praise him because he said, uh, by his stripes you are already healed. Uh -huh. uh, if you need money in your pocket, uh -huh. uh, he said he would supply all your need uh, according to his riches and glory. Uh -huh. uh, if you want your children to act right, uh, praise him uh, because he is a God of a turnaround. Uh, if you want your marriage to straighten out, uh, praise him uh, because he can turn your marriage around. Uh, do I have any witnesses in here this morning? Uh, how many know that praise is the key ingredient uh, to get to your blessing? Uh, so what are you waiting for? Uh, do I have anybody in here uh, that can praise him right now? Uh, and you don't care who's sitting beside you. Uh, you don't care who's sitting behind you. Uh, you don't care who's looking at you. Uh, you're going to praise him anyway. Uh, you got to do like David did. Uh, David act like a crazy man. Uh, do I have anybody in here uh, that can act like a crazy person? Uh, do I have anybody in here uh, that can shout despite of what you're going through? Uh, you can shout and despite how you feel. Uh, do I have anybody in here? Uh, you might don't have any money in your pocket, uh, but you can praise him anyway. Uh, I might as well go ahead and preach to myself. Uh, do I have uh, anybody in this house uh, that can praise him, uh, despite if you don't get the college loan or not? Uh, if you're going to praise him anyway, uh, because you know he's going to make a way uh, out of no way. Uh, do you know how to praise him? Uh, do you know how to praise him? Uh, well, show me what you're working with. Uh, know uh, that I got some real praises in Scripture Cathedral. Uh, I need to know uh, that you're going to praise him no matter what, uh, because times can get tough, uh, but you got to praise him anyway. Uh, you got to praise him despite of what you're going through. Uh, do I have any praises in this house? Uh, well, uh, if you know uh, that he is a good God, uh, you don't mind praising him. Uh, if you know he will deliver, uh, praise him. Uh, if you know he will heal your body, uh, praise him. Uh, if you know he'll put money uh, in your pocket, praise him. Uh, if you know he will renew your strength, uh, praise him. Uh, you might be saying, Pastor, uh, how do I praise him? Uh, well, you got to take uh, the ingredients uh, and mix them up. Uh, tell somebody I'm going to mix them up. Uh, tell somebody else I'm going to mix them up. Uh, mix them up. Uh, mix them up. Uh, Mix them up, uh, mix them up, uh, put your praise in there, uh, put your prayer in there, uh, put your fasting in there, uh, mix them up, uh, tell somebody mix them up, uh, how uh, do I mix them up, uh, clap your hands, uh, open up your mouth, uh, shout, uh, somebody run, uh, somebody shout, uh, somebody run, uh, somebody shout, uh, when the praises go up, uh -huh, uh, when the praises go up, uh-huh, uh, Anybody in here uh, need a blessing? Uh, I said, does anybody need a blessing? Uh, well, if you shout right now, uh, I declare God is going to give you a miracle. Uh, before the week is out, uh, he's going to put money in your pocket. Uh, he's going to give you that promotion on your job. Uh, but you got to shout now. Uh, don't wait till the battle's over. Uh, don't wait till the battle's over. Don't wait till the battle's over. Don't wait till the battle's over. Shout. Uh, Shout now, uh, shout now, uh, shout now, uh, come on musicians, uh, let's ride, uh, let's ride, uh, it's time, uh, it's time to shout it out, uh, tell somebody it's time to shout it out, uh, shout it out, uh, shout it out, uh, shout it out, uh, shout it out.
altar is open. If you're in need of prayer, come now. If you are in need of prayer, come now. If you want to be saved with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, come now. Maybe you need deliverance. Maybe you need healing in your body. Come now. Don't wait because God can turn it around, but you got to make the first move. If you take one step, he will take two. <laughs>